Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for what is episode four of Let's Play Grimoire Heralds of the Winged Exemplar. I'm Game God Fluent. So today I've got the manual open, looking at the professions and the races. Um, but we're done with the manual. We're actually going to hit play and uh, create a party. So let's see what happens. So I as good as you remember, except better. Incline. So, I'm going to attempt to make a party today. I have some characters in my mind that I'm tossing around. Um, and we'll see how they play out. But I'm basically going to wing it. I'm not sure why the screen is like this. Let's go ahead and scale to fit. My fault. We have to restart. But, uh, yeah, I've got a few characters I've been tossing around. Uh, and I'm also going to experiment in the character creators to try to find what I think is going to be the... Maybe not the perfect party, but definitely a party that we can roll with. And play the game at a decent level and progress. So, I'm just going to make some characters, and I may make even more than eight, and then select the top eight. We'll see. So, this is Grimoire. Uh, we'll check out the story in the next episode, but let's just go right to library. Right to the character creator. Alright, so, let's go ahead and create. It's pretty simple stuff. Um... Giant strength and con resist system and earth low intelligence and speed warrior metal st smith. Mm. I'm going to make a giant metal smith. That's going to be one character I roll with. Uh, fellowship is 40. What if I go female? The fellowship goes to 48. Okay, let's just cancel. I just wanted to see what it would be. Um, oh, there's characters in the index. Let's go ahead and delete them. These were just characters I was messing around with. Alright. So it's going to be a giant. Um... Male giants are stronger, female have better fellowship. I don't know how much fellowship matters besides with your talking character, your main character that talks. So we'll go ahead and make a male. Um, now my roll bone is 68 or 86, I'll do 68. Points 33, let's try again. 35, I'll go ahead and accept that. And Metal Smith. The name suggested Iron John, Minos, John Henry, Paul Bunyan, Hector, um, a giant male metalsmith. How about Krug? And it'll suggest the portrait. We have this portrait suggested, this portrait. This portrait, this portrait, Krug looks like this guy right here, so click OK, and there's our first character, Krug the Giant Metalsmith. He's a shield bearer Vulcan, his strength is 60, and he's got two crafts. Um, let's go ahead and inspect the inventory. He's wearing a pay, pair of trail boots. Um, he's got a kite shield, a forge hammer, damage 2d4, range 1, bash, and he's got a leather armor. So that's Krug. Um, let's go ahead and create another character. 
Uh, how about a Drake? Mm, let's try to create a female now. Well, I did want a rat, a rat tooth thief. We can go Fae Folk Thief, Ratu, Assassin. But then we need magic classes as well. So I do want to create a Drake. Hmm, this is tough with only eight. We've got a main melee character. Drakes make warriors and metalsmiths. Go ahead and click Ratu. So their fellowship are not very high. Let's make a female Ratu. And for roll again. Twenty six. Thirty-four. We'll take that. And she's going to be a rat too. Oh, she can't be an assassin. Huh? The bonus must not have been high enough. Okay. I was also thinking about a Leonar Ranger or a Wolf and Ranger. Strengths: Fellowship plus Speed. Devotion plus Resist Cold. Ranger or Cleric. Berserker or Ranger. With the Battle Roar. Hmm. Let's go with a Faithful Thief. Female. Okay, bonus remaining is 30. <clears throat> so, where are her hit points? It does not say. Add to attributes, add to skill points, add to destiny. Life age. First life, 22 years old. Doesn't say where the hit points are, so. We can go attributes, skill points. Um, let's go attributes. Misdemeanor, Minx, Molly, Lilith. How about How about Lilix? A little different. Let's suggest the portrait. Picking her. It suggested this portrait. Oh, I like this portrait right here. Let's see what else it suggests. This one. This one. That one. Let's go ahead and be this one. Alright, and she's got 30 points to spend in her attributes when we start the game. So we've got a giant metalsmith and a fey folk thief. Let's go ahead and create. Uh, for a male... I want to get this rat to assassin. So let's go male. Let's try 32. Still can't be assassin. Huh. Let's try a Leonard Ranger. 
uh, male. 37, nice. So we'll go ahead and make him a ranger. Hawkeye, Robin Hood. How about Sam? And let's see what it's suggesting for him. It's hard to see the suggestion points. Oh, it was this one. This one. Oh, there only seems to be two lion men, so we'll go with that one. So we've got a Leonar Ranger. Um, a female Wolfin. A female Wolfin. Cleric. With 33 bonus remaining points. Um, we'll add to attributes. Choose spells. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's go see how these spells work. Um, oh, is it not letting me all tab out of the game? Huh. It's not quite letting me alt tab. Hmm. Well, if we go by basic RPG skills um, for a cleric, cure light wounds. I don't know what refresh does. Alright, I just cancelled her. So let me exit. Let me go ahead and make this not full screen. So we can easily alt tab out of it. And we'll go see what... What is this? We'll go see what, um... Refresh does. saw it edit find where's my find refresh spell restores vitality to a party member who thereby let me go ahead and make this bigger also thereby restoring their strength and will to fight the degree to which the party member is refreshed depends on the power of the cast Okay. So we'll go ahead and load this back up. I'll make a female wolfin leader of the party. Cleric. She only gets a 2d4 for hit points, so she can't be in the front line, apparently. Alright, our characters are still there. Let's go ahead and create a wolfin. Female, 37 points. Go with Cleric, 39 bonus points remaining. We'll go to Attributes. Um, let's see what Bless does. I'm going to go ahead and light a cigarette here. Bless bestows the Divine Prayer on the target target as a comrade that enhances their fighting attributes and makes them more likely to succeed in combat both in offensive and defensive action relative to power level um oh here's the cure light condition attempts to cure a condition character of a lesser malady such as blindness irritation nausea and silence the results depend on the power level of the spell Cure Light Wound heals 1d6 points of damage to a party member per power level. The spell will not resurrect the dead or cure any conditions the target may suffer from. Okay, so lots of good spells here. Let's 
let's go ahead with Cure Light Wounds. Um, Cure Light Condition. Refresh. Okay. Althea Hope. She's a wolfin, so... How about Daisykins? After my little Daisy. Daisykins. Suggest the portrait. This one. This one. I like this one. Daisykins is made. Nobody has any crafts except our metalsmith. Oh, okay. The fa our Fae Folk Thief also has one, same as the metalsmith. Alright, now let's go with... I was gonna go Drake. But they make warriors and metalsmiths. Let's go... Did we do our Fae Folk Thief yet? Sam, Lilix. Oh, a Durandil Templar. I would like to make a Durandil Templar. Um, we made Daisy Kins. So let's make a male. is fine. Let's go with, um... Oh, that's not enough points to be a Templar. Huh. I hope I can roll one good here. Get a good roll. 31. That's enough to be a Templar. Durandil Templar, Galahad, Sir Magnus, Galahad, Sir Richard. Um, how about Midas Dax? And his pictures would be... This one, this one, this one, and this one. I think we'll go with that one. Alright, so we've got a Templar for the front line, um, a Ranger for the front line, possibly, a Metalsmith, back line would be Thief, Cleric. Uh, we're gonna need a Magic user. So how about... Sage Thaumater. Special helms and headgear required. Special is Mind Flay. Um, let's check the classes again. Thaumaturge harnesses the primitive forces of nature and the elements. Sage is an avid scholar who tries to unearth the riches found in books. And... Wizard practices the ancient art of magic, weaving spells and illusions. It's going to be an Aorb Sage. So let's go with the female Aorb. 40 points, nice. Sage... 70 points remaining. We're going to... Add to attributes. Two spells, okay. We want Detect Secret. Identify. 
What's biosulfur again? Creates light, I think. No matches were found. Biosop? Oh, biofoss. With this spell, the wizard can take Almost any small organic object, be it a leaf or scrap of wood, and cause it to grow, glow dimly for several hours according to the strength of the spell. This is useful for dark areas and places where some light is required. Huh. I'm thinking between direction... Read magic and biophosphor. How about direction? Read magic. A name. Psych. Nyapatia. Agrippa. Cassandra. How about Cleora? And the A-Orb have special portraits. This one. That's the only A-Orb picture, so we'll take it. Uh, we've got six characters made. Let's see here. We didn't do our Ratu Assassin, right? We did a faithful thief, but we didn't do a Ratu Assassin. Let's try to do a Ratu Assassin. Um, it would be male. Needs a big roll. If 32 is enough, not enough for assassin, huh? How about a Naga assassin? Speed and agility. Thirty six, yes, assassin. Haldane, Mr. Freeze, Muerto, Haldane. about Serpentis? We'll see his pictures. We've got this one. This one. This one. Let's go with this one. All right. So we've got seven of eight so far. The last character I would like to make. How about going a little bit outside of the box? A Drake. Female. Bard, perhaps? Wizard? I'd really like a bard. We have a sage and a cleric. Thaumaturge could be interesting. Let's see what the Thaumaturge spells are. Blinding Flash, Leaping Sparks, Witch X, Chilling Touch, Irritation, Cure Light Condition. Alright, let's try again then. We 
can also go Trowel Bard. It is enough to be a bard. Wandering performer who acquires many skills in his journeys. Isadora is pretty cute. A drow name. Um, Dark Elf. Um. Partinia. Cartinia. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. She's got a sword. This one. No spells learned, interestingly enough. And not a lot of crafts. Okay, Serpentis, our assassin, has some crafts. The sage has no crafts. A little bit of crafting. So let's assemble our party and see what it would be like. First to add, well, let's just go through them and add a party. Add a party, 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 add a party. The marching orders would be by profession. So let's see who that that's that puts Krug in first place. That puts. Sam up there, Midas Dax, and Serpentis, all the males in the front, Cartinia, Lilix, Daisykins, and Cleora in the back. We don't have a ton of magic with this party. We have pretty good melee with an assassin, a Templar. Sam's only got 11 hit points. I kind of wonder why that is. Krug has 19, 13, 32. Oh yeah, they have even less. Um... Hmm. Bards get magic, just not yet. What is bardic magic? Let's see what it says about bard. I'm looking for a specific... Bard gets acquired level 1 Arcanum. Archery. A saying. Astral Vision. No, Axe and Scimitar. Backstabbing. Barter. Bladesmanship. Oh, can I see the skills somewhere? 
of our bard, Cartinia. Cartinia's got all kinds of stuff, but you can't really see it too well here. Flannel shirt. Flannel pants. An instrument. I want her, Daisykins, to be the leader with the 54 Fellowship. But a cleric doesn't get access to diplomacy like a bard does. And what's his fellowship? 40. And our sage has low fellowship. I mean, we definitely do enough in incantation, invocation, lash and chain, lock picking, mephistics, music, robbery, scout, scribe, shield, sling, sorcery, staff and rod, stealth, swimming, swordsmanship, throwing. doesn't really let me they're more of like a an attack class it seems I guess they get a lot of different skills though so we've got a metalsmith we've got a ranger we've got a templar we've got an assassin we've got a bard we've got a thief a cleric and a sage I think that's not bad overall. What other character could I create? <laughs> A thaumaturge. Instead of a bard. I don't know, I think this, I'm really starting to like this party. I think this is not bad. We've got our brute guy here. We've got kind of a, um, versatile melee type dude. We've got our Templar, who probably also gets some magic. Got an assassin who can backstab and whatnot. A bard, jack of all trades. Got our thief. We've got a cleric for healing and stuff. And then we've got a sage that's gonna do a bunch of support stuff. We don't really have attack magic with this party. Um, and it comes down to the bard. The bard could be replaced with either a wizard or a thaumaturge to deal more magic damage. Um, hmm. I know bards do get magic though. It's more likely to be support magic, probably. What books of magic do they get access to? Okay, sorcery and holy at level three. The sage gets sage. The bard gets sorcery and holy. The cleric gets holy. 
the ranger gets pagan and the templar gets holy so we've got enough holy for sure we've got a little bit of sorcery with the bard no pagan oh yeah we do have pagan with the ranger I think that looks pretty good. So sorcery is the wizard, and we get sorcery and holy with the bard. Sage gets sage. Metalsmith gets sage at level six. Thief also gets pagan alchemistry. Interesting. Okay, I like it. I think this could be our party going forward can save party as first yes overwrite the party slot party name um party name would be Party name. Party name. <laughs> um. Green, oh, we can't even spell green llamas. Um, Lamaxia. 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 We've got our marching orders. We're ready to go. I thought I'd make more characters, but I don't know any other classes I would want in my starting party. I mean, of course, we could look. Um, we didn't look at Saurians. We'll make Berserkers and Warriors. We don't have a Warrior, per se, but we have plenty of melee. With the Metalsmith, the Templar, the Assassin, the Ranger... Um, yeah, I think this is a good party to start with. Is it a basic party? Um, kind of. I didn't go too far out of the box except for the Drow Bard. You know, Fae Folk Thief, that's pretty basic. Wolf and Cleric. Um, I think that's pretty basic. No, it was Ratu Cleric, I think that was more of that sort of thing. We don't have a Ratu, unfortunately. We have a Naga, Assassin, Serpentis, Midastax, Sam, Krug, Cartinia, Lilix, Daisykins, Cleora. I think we are good to go. So the party is saved. I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get into this. Um, next episode, we'll be venturing forth. And, uh, well, next episode, we're going to click the story, read up on that. And we've got our party here, and we're going to start game. Wow, I can't wait. Uh, hope you join me for this journey if you're just tuning in. Check out the three manual episodes. It shows us a lot more about the game, and we learned a lot. And uh, very important, because this game is not like any other. 
and we really had to learn what was what. So we learned, and now we're ready to put that knowledge to the test and play the game and attempt to progress, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So join me going forward. I'll see you there. Um, take care, guys. Thank you for watching, most especially. I uh, really appreciate it. I like seeing that people watch the videos and are into it. This took 40 minutes. Wow. Okay. Uh, much love, peace, and joy, guys, and I'll see you in Hyperborea. So long.